Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is the one that I really didn't think that I'm gonna be making, but here we are today. Ever since I started making YouTube videos, I've been getting this specific comment. And ever since I picked up my camera and started taking pictures, I've been always holding it like this. Before I started getting those kind of comments, I never even knew that there is a right and wrong way of doing something as simple as holding your camera. So I did some research and found out that there's lots and lots of articles on how to hold your camera, how not to hold your camera with illustrations, do's and don'ts and all of that stuff. And while most people agree on how to hold the camera in the landscape mode, I think most of us hold it like this. Um, a lot of these articles illustrate specifically how to hold your camera in a portrait mode. I would say 99% of those articles recommend holding your camera this way right here so your right hand on the grip with the elbow out and your left hand tucked in into your body and uh, also supporting the lens over here and there you go you can go ahead and shoot also a few of those article specifically demonstrated that holding your camera this way is the wrong way of holding your camera and you should not be doing it like that so i'm not surprised that i'm getting so many comments about the way i like to hold my camera as this is exactly how i've been doing it for years and how i still do it now all of these articles are written by male photographers i could not find any articles written by female photographers really but i did find this one video on youtube with doing a simple search on holding your camera by two female photographers and interestingly they suggest that uh, you hold your camera vertically this way no 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 no! you just did it wrong i should have talked about that ow <laughs> that's what not to do when you're holding your camera vertically you you just want to rotate this towards the bottom, oh, your wow. shutter towards the bottom, <laughs> so that you can just hold it and again keep your hand like this, shutter to the bottom so you can uh, keep it like this, so that you're not going like this, or like that, or like that. <laughs> <laughs> those are not good things to do i do have quite a few female photographer friends that do like to hold their camera this way here's laura jade also holding the camera that way and here's annie labovitz also holding the camera that way so i went ahead and asked my husband to hold the camera in the natural way that he normally would and of course no surprise he held it up like this and when i showed him that this is how i normally hold my camera he just said that that looks very uncomfortable and very weird and he would not hold the camera that way so that makes me believe that a lot of women prefer holding a camera a different way than a lot of men do there's obviously a lot of women that hold it this way and maybe there are some men that hold it that way i don't know but I've definitely seen this kind of pattern where women prefer holding the camera just closer to them like this and men like to kind of put their arms up like that. So I've been thinking, why is that? And uh, I can just explain it from my own perspective. If I'm holding the camera up this way, uh, most of the support is gonna be coming from this arm and you probably have noticed that I don't have a lot of muscle there. I don't have a lot of upper arm strength. So supporting the camera body and the lens with my upper arm is not really a good idea for me. Uh, also, if I'm pulling, I'm gonna step a little bit back. And if I'm pulling my left arm into my body for support, it's going into my boob. <laughs> Sorry for uh, showing this, but it will rest on my boob and it really feels uncomfortable for men that are flat chested this should be no problem but for me it feels extremely uncomfortable so all together this kind of oops <laughs> so all together this kind of position for me just doesn't really work and doesn't feel very comfortable now 
if I'm putting it this way, both of my arms are going on both of the sides of my boobs, so nothing is getting squeezed. I can't even imagine women with, you know, bigger breasts, how uncomfortable it must be for them. So I like to hold it on both sides like this. Now I'm holding my camera here and holding the lens over here so now i'm supporting the camera and the lens with both of my arms down uh, kind of squished into my body so i'm leaning against my body and i'm supporting the whole weight of the camera now i don't use manual focusing so i don't really have to worry about doing that i'm just holding on to the lens as support and that feels really comfortable for me but interestingly enough i don't do this with all of my cameras here is my film camera mamiya 645 this is a medium format camera it is very very heavy and it is built completely different from your regular dslr this body is kind of square-ish with most of its weight being on this left side and then this massive grip on the right side now if i wanted to shoot it like this <laughs> I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Again, this arm is digging right into my boob. I can't put it on the side of me because then I won't be able to get to the viewfinder. Uh, so I absolutely have to shoot it this way. And again, it's not very comfortable for me because it is so, so heavy and I have to support the weight of it with my upper arm but it is something that I have to deal with with this camera so I normally don't hold it like this for a very long time and a lot of the times I f it feels very unstable and very shaky but there's absolutely nothing else that I can do I mean I could put it on the tripod but um, this is the most comfortable for me for this specific camera here's another camera and this one I can actually shoot both ways because it is very very light I can easily shoot it this way and I can easily shoot it this way I would still probably prefer holding it down just because it's something that I'm really used to and it just feels comfortable but I can definitely hold it this way just because it's not as heavy and the strength that I have in my upper arm would be totally fine to hold this camera now I might not agree with some of those articles that you know show you the exact way to hold your camera but uh, what we agree on is that the best way to hold your camera is the most stable and comfortable way for you. You have to make sure that you feel supported and not shaky to get good images. And if you're uncomfortable, it's gonna show up in your pictures. So hold your camera the way you want to hold it and the way it works for you. And that is the best way to hold your camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what way do you prefer to hold your camera in portrait mode. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.